Welcome back to Guitar Lessons. Uh, we're going to be just diving into as long as our hearts are beating. I'm going to be giving the chords to you in G form. And it is uh, capo 3. So the actual key is B flat. But G, um, the key of G is what I'm playing in. And uh, here we go. Okay, so the, the intro and the verses are a lot of thumb. Uh, really, the skin part of your thumb is what you want to play with about four inches from the bridge, right where the sound hole ends. Um, kind of this swishy sound. And it's almost functioning as like a shaker, like or a hi-hat. And I'm, I'm, uh, I'm emphasizing on the twos and the fours. You can see I'm going to, uh, hopefully you can see, I'm going to these middle strings. So uh, for the most most of the other beats, I'm staying on just these two strings, and then I'm going to the middle strings for uh, for those the twos and the fours. The one, two, three, four. Almost like a, um, just giving it that a distinguished more of a distinguished beat. Um, and with this hand, I, uh, I've got my uh, ring finger on the 6th fret of the E string. I've got my middle finger on the 5th fret of the A string. And I'm only playing these four strings for these first three chords. So for the G, the D over F sharp with a suspended 4th, because the, the G's in there. And the E minor, I'm just playing the four... These, uh, these top four strings. For the C, I'm playing, I'm actually leaving that B string open, and I've got a G in the bass, which makes it a C major 7 over G. There's Jane. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, the lick. Just hammering on at first with my pinky finger and then second with my middle finger. So the pinky finger is for the G chord, the middle finger is for that D chord. And uh, and that's the intro. The verse, that's pretty much the verse too. The only difference between the intro and the verse is I add my index finger nail. Uh, on the twos and the fours, especially sometimes the ones and the threes as well, to give it uh, more more of a perc percussive sound. Here's what it's like. It's my bride, my bride, sun and moon together. So that's it. That's the that's the first verse. Um, Pre-chorus is just different chords, but really more of the same feel. And at the very end, right before chorus one, I end on this D over F sharp chord, but I play all, all of the strings. Um, up until this point, we're not hitting, we haven't hit the E string at all. And, uh, and at this, right at this chord, we are hitting that E string, which gives it the sixth of, sixth of the chord, the B and the E is the ninth of the chord. Um, I really just like the way it, it colors the five chord, that, that D over F sharp um, gives it a nice full flavor. And uh, yeah, and then, then we go into the chorus, which is more of the same, really more of, this, of, of uh, what happened in verse one. So it's like, after the sunset disappears when there's no real difference is that I'm hitting it a little bit harder on the on the twos and the fours the one two three four um, which means I'm, I'm actually just did, like striking it harder with with my right hand and I'm leaving that E string open and that E 
string and the B really are the pedal tones for that chorus one. Uh, verse, okay, so at the end of chorus one, as long as our hearts are beating. It's the same thing with the left hand. With the right hand, I'm using, sometimes it's just my index finger nail uh, with my thumbnail. Sometimes I use my middle fingernail as well. Um, so we'll just use all three for this example um, to give it that open, really big open sound, uh, almost like the, the full the band is like has entered at that point. And I'm playing every string and I'm hammering on on that C chord. I'm hammering on the B. I'm using my index finger to do it, hammering on and off to give it a, a flow and like a, a little bit of a lick sound. Um, verse two is pretty much like verse one, just with a harder strike on the, the right hand. So it's like, uh, so Paul muting. And on the twos and the fours too, on, on the verses, I'm like, I'm kind of letting my hand fall off so that those notes are sustained, almost like a really long snare drum, like a, um, like a, that kind of thing, and uh, and I am muting on the ones and the threes. I'm keeping my my palm on on there to give it more of a tight kick drummy sound. I'm not used to playing full band, so this is my full band emulation. Um, on the pre-chorus, uh, pre-chorus two, sometimes it's down, sometimes it's up. It just depends on how the night feels. Um, if it's down, it's typically palm muted. If it's up, it's uh, it's just those open. Is, uh, is pretty much the same as that turnaround that's right after chorus one ends. It, um, it's that real open sound, the percussive sound. Um, no palm muting. And as you can see we got the pedal tones going with the E string and the B string. Sometimes I pedal tone with my pinky. Um, so there, there are two G's, an octave apart, plus the B string, pretty much are open um, the whole time. This gives the sound a consistency, and um, yeah, almost feels like you've you've got uh, somebody playing keys in the background or playing an organ part that's that's keeping that. Uh, that sound um, consistent. <laughs> I already said that, but that's that's the word that comes to mind. So, um, chorus two runs into chorus three. At chorus two, we do some of the palm mute, uh, bringing the palm mutes back to to give it some dynamics, um, some flavor, and then we we bring it back to a, a really big, open, full um, fingernail uh, sound at the end of chorus three. And then at the uh, the outro is really just like verse one. It's the thumb plus index, the index finger nail. Um, so it's like to to end the song to give you an example of all this. Um, it's like after the sunset disappeared and there's no one around and there's no way but here. thing I was talking about. The only thing I didn't mention is that on those big choruses, 
uh, on the C, I'm I'm not playing a C over G. I'm playing a C over E. So the bass part is going boom. When it's plugged in to a system that has some good subs or just good woofers, uh, woofers, that's a funny word, it sounds really good. It sounds like there's there's some good bass support there. Uh, well, hey, this is my second guitar lesson. Um, I'm guessing there's lots to improve on, so let me know. And uh, please be kind when you let me know. Um, please. And uh, what else? I guess un until next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye.